Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. Today I'm gonna to show you three amazing dollar store gift basket ideas. All right guys, this is really exciting to show you. I'm going to show you um, a couple of ways to make Dollar Tree gift baskets for under $10. And this one is a popcorn or a movie theater theme one. Um, if you want to have like a red box or a movie at home. Um, so I purchased a couple of things. So the first thing is this big, huge tub of popcorn that I'm going to put everything in. So it's going to act like a basket. And then I got two of these for the price of a dollar um, for when they want to do their popcorn. And then just an assortment of candy and then also a thing of butter, um, a thing of popcorn. And everything came from the dollar store. So if I add all this up, it would be $10 for the um, movie theater um, gift basket, which is really amazing, I think. Um, so to do this, I just have some um, gift wrap that I have from other presents. So I'm not counting this in the price of the gift because I already had it on hand. So what I'm gonna do is just take a couple of pieces and put them in the bottom and just make it look a little bit nicer. And I like the red because it already matches with the, the letters on it. I'm just gonna put a few at the bottom and then you can just do this any way you want. But I mean, you just put everything in in whatever kind of order. And I was thinking on, should I take these out or should I leave them in um, the container? But I'm just gonna leave them in the box and I'm just gonna put everything nice and neat in here. And maybe I'll stuff these guys at the back and make it so you can see everything. Right there. It's such a quick and simple and fun gift to get. I know I would love to receive this. I watch a lot of movies at home with my kids. So this would be an amazing gift for me to receive. Um, another thing that I think I might do since this was um, a $10 thing is go a little bit more. I will go to Redbox and I will get, or I will go online to Redbox and download a um, coupon code for somebody to rent a few movies. So this one's done. I mean, it's simple, easy. It was $10. Um, I do have, and I never used these before, is this shrink wrap um, and pull bow. I bought this at the dollar store and I've never used these before. And I thought how cool would that be to have it in a bag to hand it out. And let's see. Oh, that's pretty big. So I'm just gonna take it put it in the middle oh yeah that's gonna be so cool okay and it's shrink wrap too so you can like um, use your you can use your hair dryer and blow this and make it tighter but then it says it comes with this bow I'm not really sure how to use this I did not read the instructions let's see said pull bow, so I'm going to try pulling some of these ends. Nope. Let me see the other side. Ah, so it has this little thing on the bottom. little ribbon. I'm going to pull it. Oh, that's cool. So I'm pulling both of these ribbon pieces and holding the bottom. And I'm just pulling it. Oh, that is so cool. So it made it into this really cool little bow. So I'm going to wrap it up, get some of the air out, and then just tie it on here. And then I think I will leave um, a piece on the end here, and then I can tie on the um, gift card or the um, gift certificate for them to go and get a movie as well. Oh, that is so cute. So I'm going to leave this long, and then when I get the gift card or the card number, I'm just going to put it on there. I mean, I would love to get this as a present. I mean, it could be Christmas, birthday, anniversary, you know, whatever. But that's the first one, and I will show you the next one. All right, guys, so on to number two. Um, I'm Everything, again, is from the dollar store. One thing I'm going to show you really quick is I bought these cups at the dollar store. I don't know if you can see it really well. Um, 
If you're interested in learning how to make these, if you go onto, I will leave the link below, um, I will show you how to make these. It's just using Armor Etch. Um, I got it right here. This stuff. And it's amazing. You can use it on pretty much anything. I've done so many projects with this already. And um, unlike vinyl, you can put this in the dishwasher. It's not going to hurt because it's etched on already. So I'm going to include these two. And like I said, these come from the dollar store. So everything in here is dollar store. So I'm going to take my bin that I purchased from the dollar store. Take my uh, tissue paper and just put some at the bottom. Make it look a little fancier. And then just do the same thing, kind of just layered in. So I bought two of these. There's little travel mugs. Um, I thought they were kind of cute and little Christmassy, so I'll put those in the side here. And you just kind of put it however you want it. And then I bought a whole bag of marshmallows. Instead of being um, putting them in little bags or anything, I just figured, give the whole thing. Can't go wrong with too many, too many marshmallows, right? So there's that. And then I found these. They are so cute. They're little candy cane spoons. Um, my daughters ate some already out of another package I had, and they said it worked really well with stirring your uh, hot chocolate mix. So I'm going to put that in here as well. And who doesn't love candy canes? So I bought this, an assortment of candy canes, and I'm debating if I should take them out or if I should just leave them the way they are. So I'm going to leave that for a second. And here is my hot chocolate. I took it out of the box already. Um, I don't remember how many it had, if it had eight or ten of them at um, the Dollar Tree in a box, but it wasn't too bad of a price. So I'm going to stick these in here as well. I just thought it would look neater if I would open them up a little bit. And then also two little candy canes full of candy. So it's just little M&Ms. Maybe stick one on each side, a little extra hanging on the edge. And then maybe I think I will open these. I think it might just look a little bit better if we have it open. So I'm going to open it up quick. And then maybe since they have holes in the side here, I don't know, we'll see how it looks. Kind of like hang them on the side if it'll work. Maybe it won't. Like that. Just so you can kind of see something from the side maybe too. Let's get a little bit more decoration. Yeah, that's kind of cute. And let's put some more in the inside of it as well. Hot chocolate mugs, I should say. I'll put them in here first. Down at the bottom. And then I'll put these guys. I mean, there's no right or wrong way how to put this together. Um, so however you want to stick them together, just so you can kind of see everything. But, um, yeah, that's it. So I have another one of those shrink wrap bags. I'm going to finish putting this together, and then I'm going to put it in the shrink wrap bag. And I think I'm going to get a different bow for the top. But, I mean, this, again, is under $10. For All right, on to number three. This one is going to be a bath basket. I just bought everything um, from the dollar store again. So I bought two candles. They actually smell really good. They're called Blue Sea Salt. They actually smell really good. Um, I bought a glove to wash yourself with, some coconut oil hair mask or conditioner treatment, some cherry blossom scent shampoo and conditioner. I was trying to stick with the purple or the pinkish colors, but this guy was blue, so it was the only thing that was different color. But I have the pedicure set thing, I have a thing of lotion, I have a thing of bath salt, um, bath soap, what is this called? Bath salts. I have a thing of bath salts. And then I also have a th another cherry bomb, um, is this bath bombs that fizz in the bathtub. And then I also have a uh, nail polish remover if they need it. And then I purchased this basket. Unfortunately, they didn't have any like um, nicer colored ones, so I have this for now. Um, and uh, I all I have left with my tissue paper is green, so whoever gets this is going to be having green. So let's do the same thing. Take a thing of tissue paper. Line the bottom with it. Just make it look a little bit nicer. And then just figure out how you want to put everything in here. So I'm going to put the bath bombs on the back. You know, whatever's larger, I'll put in the back. And then this pedicure set, I will leave together. So it's not as hard to find in the middle. I'll put some nail polish in. And then the lotion. Some nice bath salts. The cherry blossom shampoo and conditioner. I don't want to hide anything in here, so I'm going to try to just work with it that I can make it so you can see everything. 
the candles, which maybe I'll just put two on top of each other. There we go. And I forgot to mention this too. These are pretty awesome to have. I really like these. These bath sponges. They get really nice in the shower when you're taking a shower. So I'm going to put that in there. And then the glove kind of stick back here so you can see it. And then the last thing is the hair conditioner. So I tried to stick with the color with purple, but that's okay. I got a little bit of pink and a little bit of blue in here. But, I mean, again, under $10, you want. The possibilities are endless, but there are so many things at the Dollar Tree that you can buy that look nice and expensive, and you can dress it up a little bit and make it look nicer. So I'm going to finish this up and put a bag on it, and then I will show you all three of them how they all turned out.